As you can tell, it's cooking about 27 degrees. I'm sweating my tits off. The engine we're going to use to sort of mock it all up and dry fit. Sump has been changed for a E39 sump. Uh, hopefully it goes in. Hopefully it's a nice fit. There's a little bit of a struggle lining up the mounts, but got there in the end. Two engine mounts, and that's about it. Haven't even bothered looking at the bell house yet. But it sits in there. It is a little bit skew off, so the front's a bit high. It's in. It's in the engine hole. It's in the um, engine hole. Look how, tight, look how tight it is down here. We got a few things to sort out. We got to relocate things like the clutch master cylinder. We got to do a lot of wiring. But yeah, happy it's in. These are clean as well. I've cleaned my hands like three times. Lots to be getting cracking on with. And I think let's move on to the next one. So, uh, connected fuel lines and the fuel pump is running. I've connected the starter motor and the ignition. So I think it's time to crank one out on camera. <laughs> making noises but this isn't the engine that we're using yeah no. no it's not that's actually in your car still yeah that's in my daily <laughs> we've got crank yeah <coughs> so now we just need fire yeah um that's doable <laughs> um, <laughs> still got to do all the pedals the ecu wiring uh, the prop power steering pump cool then yeah so, uh, I think it's time to look at the wiring diagrams and uh, more oh, pain. More pain. I feel like we're gonna be wiring pros after doing like <laughs> three car builds in a year, three engines. So we've got our grade A black sludge. We're about to pour it into this beautiful engine. Um, once we've done that, look at that. That's some fresh oil. But will it start? I've done some wiring on the DME to give it a live feed. I've got the throttle pedal all wired in, so see how it goes. We've actually got a crossover video happening right now. This is really Battle of the Builds. He started that before me, so. What's I've your got, response, mate? I've got a couple of weeks. He works it, I've got a job. So I've got there, big man. I've got the uh, throttle pedal here. It's a bit short. I'm not going to run it into the engine bay usually, but plug you're in your leg through the window and into yeah. it. I've just plugged in the fuse for the uh, fuel pump. I connected the battery, and we're about to see if she boogies. All right, enough waffle. Give us some live, some German Swedish live. I might need someone to actually uh, hop on the throttle pedal and give me some flips. <laughs> Gog Max on pedal duty. <laughs> Just hold it down flat. Oh. No bueno. What do you mean? You, you were like, yeah, I was, I'm going to beat you, Grog lad. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to crank it, but I mean, I did have my doubts that I may have missed out a wire or two. But currently, nada. Grog Nack's still in the running. Oh. Where are we at, Grog? Where we wiring, basically. Just trying to finish off the wiring. Battery's dead. This comes on the yeah. hack engineering. Uh, loom adapter, and yeah. I've got to earth something else, and then I think we're all good to go. So Make sure it's not in gear. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, that'll be the end of both of these projects. Are you ready? Yes. Jack. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I can't hear a fuel pump going, so. Feel you saying, Jack? There's no fuel pump noise no. going. It's always another thing, isn't it? Still got no fuel here. Quite easy starting procedure, you just need four people. We're yeah, doing some more Volvo in today. We uh, finally got the donor engine in and it's on the engine mounts. Next step is all the wiring and pain and suffering, but I mean really the big bulk of the job is in 
engines in the car, mate. Look at this. BMW. Yeah, you've got a BMW. BMW gear knob. Shifter. What did the Swedes call it? Ingridenstroffen. And we'll get it running, but it's not going to be the engine that's staying in it, so. Let's have a look. In no particular order, fuel pump, power steering pump, check gearbox mount, engine wiring, prop, brake servo, cooling system, exhaust, and pedals. Not that many. Really. It's not that many. When you look at it like that, it feels way more manageable. <laughs> We have fuel! Ta -da. Oh, it smells like it. Um, probably an hour or two to bridge two fuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good though. Yeah, that's good though because, I mean, you can hear it all go in and we got fuel, so happy days. Next is... Something else. Something else. Grind it back as much of the rust as I can be bothered to with the trusty tools. So you saw us cranking over the engine, we couldn't get it started, we think it's something to do with the ECU, so we took the engine out and we lost the footage because we're a bunch of idiots. Since then I've stripped everything out of the engine bay, grinded back all the rust, uh, primed it and I've chopped out a bunch of sections and next thing is to weld it up, which me fail at welding. That was my first time welding up any bodywork or thin sheet metal really and I think it turned out alright. Couple holes here and there but not too bad. Quick blow down with the airline, tiger seal over the welds just to seal it all off. I'm gonna primer it and then I'm gonna go for the for the full paint. <laughs> Young Georgia icing a lovely, lovely car, Volvo cake. Um, this is actually for Scott's birthday, and he doesn't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's licorice flavour, so it's not for everyone. Just jacked up the engine and brought it down so that the gearbox is up in the air. I'm going to try to change the clutch. It was in my car previously and towards the end of its life it developed a rather nasty judder so I'm quite intrigued to see what it's like in there. So I'm going to probably take this gearbox off. We've got a get rag out back. I'm going to just chuck that on here but let's see what the clutch is. I'm going to steal it basically. That was a nice way of wording it, wasn't it? <laughs> A little bit of knowledge for you. The gasket, there's a little bolt 
holding it on, but you have to get it from the front side. Your release, Maraca. Good googly moogly. Oh, googly moogly. <laughs> Finally in the shop after about a year and a half. We've got the engine in. Happy days. A bit of fouling on the manifold, so I need to correct that and need to sort out the gearbox mounting before I can get a prop measured up to be made by the prop man. We need a load of things. We need wiring, we need exhaust, we need cooling system, we need power steering, brake system sorting out. It's probably a good lifetime worth of work there to get on with, so stay with us the holes on the cross member forward so that the gearbox mounts sit correctly that means welding on a little bit here and a little bit here so. Gearbox has been welded on with the zappy zappy. By well, my glamorous assistant. Pow, pow. Thank you very mm. much. I'm trying to get the power steering lines working from the rack to the pump and the pump to the reservoir. Turns out after some pipe removing that the banjos are the same on the rack for the Volvo as they are on the rack that is for very the 46. Okay. I'm just trying to use the original E46 lines and one of the Volvo lines and modify them a bit and hopefully it should all belt up. After that, need to measure up for the prop probably. Oh. Rave up in here boy. Infidel. Oi. Oh. We are standing in a toolbox. I've managed to get both of the banjos on ish, but I'm struggling to bend the second pipe. I could send it, but I think I'm gonna have to modify it. Come on. I feel nervous for Jack's car right now. I don't know. I thought you about to put a dry bar for your bonnet. I'm really in the firing line now, Jack. What's going on now, Ben Nelson? Time for some measuring. Prop is in. We have found an E36 four pot prop. Pop. This is this is a distance from there. So we're gonna have to measure this up so that we can send it off to the prop man in prop heaven to perform some prop magic. Props to my guy. Right. Hard off. Um, 50 mil. It's MAC. Thanks. Done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite looking forward to spending the night here. I've never slept at the unit. Basically, we were noddies and we completely noddied it. We made the, <laughs> the gearbox bracket. You've noticed that the engine is completely sitting backwards. Now I've got to undo all the work we've done and redo it.
you join us again it is a new day we got the gearbox mounted up and everything and we're trying to measure the prop we've offered it up and the angle of the prop from the center bearing to the back of the gearbox is a bit of a wonk like that our answer for this is chopping a little section of you is that a bit of shelving unit well, we go that way gonna finger on it So we've measured up the prop, I'm going to send it off, I'm going to ask them to chop off the flange on the front, extend this one and attach this flange to here, kind of like that. A little bit longer and different end on it. It's currently suffering from flangular fever isn't it? A bit bad flangular fever mate. Very fucking That is a master cylinder in the farm. Uh, so we have a replica of what's going on inside the car because it's really hard to see what's going on in there. Basically, this is where the pedal was pivoted before inside the car and we shifted that hole up by 80 millimeters and now it's pretty much worked. Who made this fantastic model? Much done. Clutch, done. Electrics, that's what's up. Ugh. This engine comes with a lot of the plugs to fit into the ECU, right? It's just the one that replicates everything from the body yeah, that we need to deal with. Which makes sense because we've got a new body. And then we've got to tidy all the wiring up, bang the coolant in, get the fuel line connected, char, 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 we're doing rips. Yeah, I think once the engine's running, we'll a little bit more buzz to actually finish it. Rain, 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 rain. Ooh, rain. Fuel is incorrect on this. It's got a single line feed system, so there's no return. I need a return to run to the Volvo. Whoever designed those clips on the uh, plugs for the injectors has a special place in mind. George is having a moment. I'm going to throw up all over my newly painted engine bay, mate. We got fuel. There is fuel in the rail. Three, two, one. That didn't even crank. That, that literally just ran. Yeah,